Derek, your alley scrapers are awesome. I love that they push it, but where does all that manure go? Let's take a look. So the auto scrapers push everything to the poop plume every, every two hours, so 12 times a day. This beautiful piece of equipment is cleaning these lanes and keeping the girls nice and clean. Pretty awesome. Once it drops down the poop plume, it goes through that big 36 inch culvert into this reception pit, which we're going to put a cap on because safety. I'd rather not have somebody axle. It's fenced, but I'd rather somebody not walk through it. But anyway, from there, it is pumped over to the separator. This is the separator. The pump pumps it to the top and it cascades through the rollers and the liquid gets squeezed out and put in the tank that I'll show you. And the solids drop down there and I'll show you. Right now, the solids drop down after going through the separator into this pile and are transported down to one of our dry manure storages down at the old facilities and to this fall after we build our composting facility right here. Yeah, I'm using my old silage truck to transport it. After we do that, I'll be fully composting up here using some of it for bedding and the rest of it I'm planning on selling to people and applying to our pastures and our crop ground to help with the organic matter. The liquids go into this big holding tank. Yes, we're pretty full right now because we're applying it to the ground. We've been storing it until after we got our crops off. Johnny's down there. You can see him. Let me go show you because we're actually applying today. This is what we do with the liquid when it's time to put it out. We just crop this grass. We're gonna put some liquid on it. We're gonna watch it grow. And we're gonna make more grass for the girls to eat. Gotta love recycling soundproof like this. And that is the magical journey of poop on our dairy farm. Every dairy farm and every farm is different, but we all utilize our manure to help build organics in the soils and make sure that our crops and our pastures have the nutrients they need to grow. We also take soil samples. We take samples of the manure so that we know, here comes some more, we know what we're putting out, when we're putting out. It's all documented because believe it or not, we want the next four generations to be able to farm this ground too. That's called sustainability.